Hello, my movie peeps. It is that time. We're winding down. The year 2023 is about to be behind us. And with that, we're going to start seeing a lot of best movies of 2023, worst movies of 2023, all that kind of stuff. But only 3C is going to bring you the best popcorn buckets of 2023. First time I'm doing this, and it was quite a spectacular year. Look at everything here. Can't believe I was hoarding these in my cupboards. As the year went on, I began buying a lot of the unique popcorn buckets that were releasing alongside the bigger blockbusters, and I thought it'd only be appropriate for me to tier list rank these and also get your input. Again, this is my personal opinion, meaning I am 100% correct in wherever I decide to place these popcorn buckets, but I do genuinely want to know your input here. Looking at the tier list I've created, I have five categories. You know how this thing works, and well, well, these is the best names I could come up with for each category. Starting at the bottom of the worst, I'm just gonna call a trash can, cause hey, popcorn buckets sometimes could just resemble a trash can. We got Chum Bucket was only a step above a trash can. We got a fun bucket, a nice try. It's fun to have and enjoy. We got it's poppin'. Little play on words, popcorn goes in there, it's but you get it. And at the top, I have holy grail. Now with this slot in particular, once I place every popcorn bucket where I find a cording, I am gonna choose the one bucket out of them all to be the 2023 holy grail popcorn bucket. So getting things off, I think it's best appropriate to tell you why I even started doing this. Uh, it all started with the Batman popcorn bucket, okay? When Matt Reeves' The Batman movie came out, I went to go see it opening weekend, and they had this beauty front and center. I bought it and became addicted ever since. That led me to the Thor Love and Thunder popcorn bucket. This thing was awesome. Much better than the movie turned out to be. And from there, that's kind of what I stick to now is the unique looking popcorn buckets. I know there's tin collectors out there, but I was never giant on tin buckets. I think they are cool, but I think it'd be much harder to rank and criticize those because it would really be about the artwork, how you feel about that movie. Still, I did end up purchasing two tin buckets this year. That was the AMC and Cinemark TMNT Mutant Mayhem Popcorn Buckets. Uh, AMC one got kind of cool because they made it look like the lid of a sewer. I just love the artwork design of Mutant Mayhem, so I couldn't resist picking these up. But other honorable mentions that did not make it on the unique popcorn bucket list, we did have Creed 3 this year, came out with a boxing ring tin can, that's kind of cool. We got the Mario movie that did come out with the iconic mystery box as their tin can. I'm like, all right, that's nice. Guardians of the Galaxy almost made it onto the unique popcorn bucket list, but I figured at the end of the day, it was still just a tin. The Fast X one ruins my argument that tin cans can't be that unique because they turned theirs into a toolbox. We know Dom Toretto's always working on his car. Now you could be eating popcorn out of that same toolbox. Not a popcorn tin, but I wanted to mention it here, the Indiana Jones hat cup. The Barbie movie released a popcorn bucket in the shape of the doll boxes. Pretty creative. Uh, I have to mention this because this was probably the most sold popcorn bucket of 2023. The Taylor Swift era buckets. These things are selling like hotcakes, man. There's someone out there that made buckets of money buying these and reselling these online because... Everyone was wanting to get these. And I was hoping Aquaman would have a really cool, unique popcorn bucket, but they just came out with a tin that is pretty sweet, not gonna lie, in the style of Aquaman's outfit. But at last, it is still just a tin can. But with those honorable mentions now out of the way, let's begin here with the unique popcorn buckets I've decided, starting in order of release dates. So the first one we had was Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania. Now this popcorn bucket here was released by AMC. It'll run you $30 and I just, I like the head popcorn buckets. They have such a collectible aspect to it. Just the fact that you could buy them and remember the experience of going to watch a movie you were looking forward to and then still having something that you could put on your shelf to remind you of that experience, I think is always worth it. This one also lights up, which I think is a nice unique touch. People always wanna be able to wear the head buckets. So I get so many comments whenever I show these off and go why can't i wear it it's a popcorn bucket man you want to have greasy butter on your face 
Me too. The other thing to keep in mind with a lot of these buckets is the amount of detail that goes into it. Because remember, these are just popcorn. You're supposed to be eating these in the dark, yet they detail them like there's something you buy off the toy aisle in Target. But for now, with the Ant-Man bucket, I'm going to go with fun. It's a much cheaper alternative for what Hasbro provides you, but it is something we have seen before, I would say. Moving on to the next popcorn bucket, I sadly did not pick up and purchase one because I didn't even know it was released. I found out about it like weeks later. And two, I probably wouldn't have bought it for myself because I only buy ones I'm genuinely interested in for movies I'm looking forward to. And that is the Dungeons and Dragons popcorn bucket released by AMC running you about $35. And they went with a Dungeons and Dragons dice that also doubles as a popcorn bucket. First off, points for creativity. I love that. While this is not an item that actually shows up in the movie, which a lot of these popcorn buckets do, that is something that perfectly aligns with your fan base. Dungeons and Dragons deals with a lot of dices. To now be able to get a popcorn bucket where you could maybe actually use it on an actual board, I'm sure it would maybe destroy your entire table and you wouldn't do it and you'd throw it on the ground, but that is actually a fun collectible. Even more so that the movie turned out to be a great surprise. I don't know if you saw Dungeons and Dragons. I wasn't thinking it was going to be anything great, but it did turn out to be great. But the most interesting part to me about this Dungeons and Dragons dice roll, it might be the rarest popcorn bucket of this entire list. This thing retailed, like I said, for 35 bucks. Right now, if you go online trying to buy it secondhand market because it's sold out on the AMC website, you could be spending anywhere from $160 to $200 if you want to own this thing right now. That blows my mind. And you know, I'm one of those weirdos that like, I didn't want it, but now that I know it's rare, expensive, in demand, I want it. Lo quiero, give it to me. But I don't think I'm willing to spend the 160, 200. I would have been very happy though if I bought it at 35 bucks. Cause again, the detail on this is pretty fabulous. So you know what, for the Dungeons and Dragons popcorn bucket, I'm gonna say it's popping. It is popping. Moving on here, this was kind of a major deal for me at the beginning of the year. Cinemark releasing a ghost face popcorn bucket to coincide with the release of Scream 6. This is huge, guys. Oh, oh you, you people did not understand why I was freaking out when this popcorn bucket became a reality. One, they almost never make unique popcorn buckets for horror movies. Even the big ones, Halloween Kills didn't get one, Halloween Ends didn't get one, but for some reason, Cinemark came out the gate and only charged you 20 bucks for this collectible ghost face head that, I gotta tell you, I, I love the detail on it. Not only do we have the nice, shiny, glossy ghost face in the front, you got the detailing of the cloth all around, and on the back, you have one of the most famous quotes associated with the movie. Do you like scary movies? I saw some people online turn this into a purse so they could stuff it and wear it around. And that's what I'm talking about with these unique popcorn buckets. They don't just become about eating the popcorn. They are an awesome reminder of the great movies we saw this year. We also got to talk about how this popcorn bucket sold out so quickly. Uh, they had to restock it several times and then eventually put more into production and people didn't get them until months later. Heck, this movie was released in March and then by the time in October when I went to go see Saw X, they had them back in stock and people were still buying it even though there was no Scream movie in theaters during October. So I don't know, if you haven't guessed it by now, I think that's a big deal. Just cool. Horror movie getting a popcorn bucket. It. It's an awesome collectible to just put on your shelf right there. You don't even know it's a popcorn bucket. Like, this is just awesome. I think the Scream 6 popcorn bucket is popping, y'all. It's popping! The next popcorn bucket we have here on the list is for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And it is Groot using his arms to make a traditional popcorn bucket bucket. Now, I actually did own this one for a period. Cinemark sent it to me because it was part of an ad I did with them, but I had a friend who really wanted it and he could never find it in his theater, so I gifted it to him and now I'm regretting it because I could have used it for this video. But since I did have it in my hands and I got to examine it, I thought it was a really cool, unique, and creative design. Using Groot not only as your handle to be able to hold the popcorn, but the idea of him making it and then the wood going all over the place, I thought it was really badass. 
but the internet did not think so. I remember when I did the ad for Cinemark about this popcorn bucket, I got so many comments about how the popcorn bucket looks like it's made out of poop, that they maybe didn't choose the right color, that it looks a little odd, that it looks almost like the intestines in your stomach. Some people said it looks too gross to eat out of. I was kind of shocked. Maybe I understood the context here, so I only saw wood. But some people saw poop. So even though I'm taking a lot of the criticisms into account here, I think the Groot Guardians of the Galaxy 3 volume popcorn bucket is enough to be a fun bucket, okay? It's, it's a creative design. It's cool. You get a little handle in there. If you're seeing poop, maybe you need to talk to a doctor. Moving on here on the list, we have probably the most deadly popcorn bucket. Dominic Toretto's Dodge Charger from Fast X. This thing right here is basically the equivalent of a Nokia phone for popcorn buckets. It's indestructible and it rolls. It rolls. Now this was released by AMC and it'll run you $40. That I think is a little bit more expensive than a lot of people want to spend on a popcorn bucket. When opening it up to see where the popcorn would be stored and you'd be eating it out of, I was kind of shocked to see so many cracks, crevices, lines, things that would make me never want to put popcorn in here because just imagining the cleanup job, ugh. Now again, I know a lot of people buying these won't even be putting popcorn in them, but this is what they are made for. I do like how they added the license plate in the front that gives you the Fast X logo so you are aware of where it's coming from. Because if not, somebody would just imagine you just like Dodge Chargers in giant form. I still think it is considered a fun bucket. Very slightly. I know it appears I am being nice right now, but we haven't gotten to the real bad buckets yet. Moving on here, we got essentially two buckets to go to. The Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse popcorn buckets. These were released by AMC Theaters and they will run you $30 each. So if you do want to get the pair like my dumb butt did, it will cost you 60. Now I want to do both since they both came at the same time and are for the same movie, but I am thinking I'm gonna rank them differently. If we start off here with the Miles popcorn bucket head, Again, looking at the detail of this mask, they got all the ridges and crevices and lines of Miles Morales' mask. I think that is so interesting that they put this amount of detail in popcorn buckets. I also like that they made the eyes transparent. While this one doesn't come with a light, it wouldn't cost you much to get your own little puck light, throw it in there, and have this be a light-up collectible in your room that you can control. I think it's just also cool that if you decide to fill it up with popcorn, you'll get to see how much popcorn you have digested through the eyes as they go down and down until you need a refill. Yeah, to me, this is an easy one. I think the Miles Morales bucket is definitely a fun bucket here. It's missing something more that would make it stand out and make it poppin', but I think fun is the good way to describe this one. Now, getting on to Gwen. They really did not want to put that much detail in my girl Spider Gwen. What, what's up with that AMC? Now some details that I do think is cool like the interior having the spider web ridges and even the comic book painting around the eyes. That's about as uniqueness as we get. The rest of this thing is almost kind of bland looking, just all plain white. I felt like they could have done something. I know this is just Gwen's hoodie, but there could be some texture added on. The screen bucket, which was only 20 bucks, had texture that mimicked the cloth that Ghostface wears. I think it's also odd they decided not to make Gwen's eyes transparent, just plain white. Really shows a lack of detail, and don't even get me started on the inside of this bucket, man, because looking at it, it's another one of those situations where I would never want to put popcorn in because it's got all these tight crevices, cracks, like popcorn starts crinkling after a while. Cleaning this thing would be an absolute nightmare. I hate to do this because I loved Across the Spider-Verse, but this is not a ranking of the movies and how good they were. This is a ranking of the popcorn buckets and Spider-Gwen, I'm sorry. You are the first chum bucket on the list. I didn't make it a trash bucket because, again, as a collectible, this is still pretty cool to put on your wall, and if you're a Spider-Gwen fan, you probably own this thing and quite enjoy it. Moving on, let's get on to the popcorn buckets for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. These popcorn buckets were something else, man. Let me tell you, they brought the heat with these buckets. Starting off with the Cinemark bucket here, this head of Optimus Prime will run you $25. The detail on it, I think, is also insane. These 
head popcorn buckets are just perfect for collectors wanting to put them on the shelves just to symbolize their favorite movie or characters out there. I'm also loving that this is also a light up bucket so Optimus Prime's eyes do start to glow and if you're watching this movie in the dark that's just a fun little thing. 25 bucks to me I think is also pretty fair for what you get here so to me I'm saying this is a fun bucket. Now let's talk about this AMC one. So this AMC Optimus Prime truck form popcorn bucket is gonna run you $50, but wait, that price also included a large popcorn and a large drink. I think that is something to take into huge consideration right there because we could almost subtract those goods into the price of this. What, a large popcorn is what, $12, $11? It's probably more, I haven't been looking much. A large drink as well, seven, eight, nine. To be fair, let's just round both of those as a total of $20. So you could subtract that here and essentially say this is 30 bucks, but that's not where it ends. This isn't just an Optimus Prime truck. You get to roll around because the wheels do roll. I think the creativity behind how you eat out of this bucket is pretty cool. Now you'll of course be stuffing the popcorn in the back there and there's a decent sized room for you to really fill it up with popcorn. But the thing that blew me away is the front part of the car is detachable. You pour in your beverage of choice and through some straws that you insert as pipes here, you can sip on and you can enjoy both your drink and your popcorn while enjoying it. Don't think about the cleanup and how sticky things are gonna get, okay? That's that's for your mama to handle. We live in the basement here. And even if you're someone that's never gonna use it for that purpose and you just want the collectible aspect of a rollable Optimus Prime truck, that's still a pretty sweet option to have one day that you can double take this on your lap. Just go. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I think the Optimus Prime car bucket from AMC deserves to go in the... It's popping. It's popping, y'all. Moving on here, we have the popcorn bucket for what was the big smoothie of this year, Barbie. They decided to turn the Barbie mobile, the nice pink convertible, into a popcorn bucket, but uh, let me tell you this price. This popcorn bucket is from AMC and it is gonna run you $65. <gasps> <laughs> I just showed you what the Optimus Prime bucket does. This Barbie car don't do the same thing. Now, I think AMC knew that there was going to be so many people wanting to see the Barbie movie, and it's already confirmed. If you go in to see Barbie, that means you are a consumer. You purchase products, or else you wouldn't be wanting to see Barbie. So they did the sneaky thing, and if you wanted to buy this, you also got it with a Barbie doll. And I did get it. I gave the Barbie doll to a niece because I don't need it. But that's how they swindled you. So if you really wanted this thing, you have to buy it as a bundle that way way in 65 bucks oh my goodness that's a that's a little much don't you think now the way you eat popcorn out of it is you just take off the front seat where the barbie doll does fit inside of i've seen people do it and there you go you have the pink convertible ready to be popcorn having inserted inside it and yeah there's some crevices and cracks where it's like oh that'd be kind of annoying to clean out of but Nothing as bad as what we've seen with some of these other ones. Really, I like it. I wouldn't say there's crazy amount of detail on it. It's kind of simple looking and it is just kind of cool to have a pink convertible, but I keep coming back to that price. $65? Maybe I would have seen it more worth it if I had a daughter next to me and I get to give her the convertible and a Barbie doll that goes along with it or there's probably other people in there going crazy, but this is my personal tier list, and although I do like this, I think that price is a little insane, so call me crazy. Pink convertible goes in the chum bucket list. Fix the prices, AMC. Don't make me buy a Barbie doll to go with it. Just give me the convertible. Moving on here, The Haunted Mansion, a Disney movie. They decided to release a popcorn bucket that I didn't want to purchase just because I didn't have a giant interest in The Haunted Mansion movie. But plenty of people did, and it does look a little nice. This bucket comes from Cinemark, and it is only $20. The interesting thing about it is if you want it filled up with popcorn, it is only about $2 more, where they had it listed at $22 and 50 cents, which I think is reasonable. I'm glad one movie theater chain isn't all that money hungry. I also do like that they went the creative choice to make it the crystal ball. That's something very memorable with the Haunted Mansion, and it lights up for a popcorn bucket only about 20 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. So although I didn't pick it up just because I didn't have that big of an interest in the Haunted Mansion, I'm not gonna let that turn me into a Scrooge. I understand this Haunted Mansion one deserves to be in the 
fun bucket list. That price is reasonable. It lights up. Creative design that goes well with the movie. It's fun. Oh, but these next two, these are some heavy hitters we got to get into, y'all. The Blue Beetle Popcorn Buckets. Again, this video is about ranking popcorn buckets and not how much the movie means to you. But can we just admit that for Blue Beetle, I think one of the smaller comic book movies being released today, they went all out with the popcorn buckets because the Flash didn't show up. Uh, the Marvels barely did. Aquaman's popcorn buckets didn't even try that hard. It's kind of insane to me that Warner Brothers knew Blue Beetle was not going to be a gigantic hit, yet they still allowed them to release the heat i'm thankful for that man so kicking things off here with the first blue beetle popcorn bucket released by cinemark it is the ted cord blue beetle this will run you 25 dollars. it does come with a lanyard so you could wear it as a backpack and even makeshift it to look like the beetle on your back i lost the lanyard my dumb butt but even with that uh this popcorn bucket is kind of amazing not only do you have the see-through eyes so you can look into the popcorn bucket the way it opens up is very much in line with a beetle having the wings extend out giving you plenty of room to place your popcorn the legs are also fully adjustable you can have it high you can have it low you can have it tilted to the side this is kind of crazy for a popcorn bucket, man. I also think it's one of the funner parts of the movie, that blue beetle and the little sequence you had in the film. Really cool. And now that you get to take home a reminder of that fun scene from the movie, bonus. Nah, Cinemark killed it with this popcorn bucket, man. Like, this is just a cool collectible right there. Who would ever thought if you were a Ted Cord Blue Beetle fan, you would get something like this being released worldwide? Uh, to me, this is a no-brainer. Uh, the Ted Cord Blue Beetle popcorn bucket, it's popping. It's popping, y'all! Moving on here now to the next Blue Beetle popcorn bucket released by AMC Theaters. This bucket is going to run you $35, and it is a backpack in the shape of of the Blue Beetle Scarab that latches onto Jaime Reyes once he fully gets suited up. Out of all the popcorn buckets that released this year, the minute I saw this leaked photo out there, I jumped up and down with excitement. I could not believe this was actually getting released. You know how crazy this popcorn bucket is? This was released by AMC, right? I just said it, AMC Theaters. I saw Blue Beetle the second time at Cinemark, like a couple of days after it released. There was someone in Cinemark who bought an AMC Blue Beetle and brought it to Cinemark to watch the movie. This popcorn bucket transcended movie theaters. And no, trust me, Cinemark was not selling this because I would have checked it. This is an AMC popcorn bucket. Now, looking at it here, I think the detail on it is amazing. It is like almost a one-for-one -one replica to what shows up on Jaime Reyes' back once he transforms. The lanyard you get with it also has some blue design to it so they didn't just cheap out and give you like a random blue lanyard, anything like that. I even love how the back plate has the Blue Beetle logo, nice big front and center again talking about the versatile of a popcorn bucket once you're done filling this up with popcorn if you even choose to do that this doubles now as something else you could go to the theme park six flags disney wherever you like and stuff things in there for that day some sunscreen some towels some napkins this thing is awesome i really fell in love with this bucket and i'm so happy i own it man uh for me easy choice blue beetle popcorn bucket it's popping. It's popping, y'all. Moving on here, a movie I did not think at all was going to get some sort of popcorn bucket love, Saw X. Here we have Cinemark releasing a Billy the Puppet head to coincide with Saw X. This bucket here is going to run you $25. And again, I freaked out over this because horror movies never get unique popcorn buckets. And you know what? Cinemark saw major success, not just with that ghost face one, with this Saw one. A lot of people picking it up and... I think that opened the door big time for the upcoming horror movies, big ones, to get some real popcorn bucket love. A lot of people were disappointed a movie like Five Nights at Freddy's really didn't have any popcorn bucket love this year. Oh, with that being the highest grossing horror movie this year, when FNAF 2 comes out, Get ready for those popcorn buckets. But sticking to the Billy the Puppet one we have right here, it's not just the fact that they turned the head into the bucket. That's cool on its own. Really nice detail when it comes to the eyes, the swirls on the cheeks, even the hair on the back. But they added a unique touch and actually made this one light up. If you push into the eyeballs, they glow red and... 
Well, that's pretty synonymous with Billy the Puppet. I did see some comments of people going, oh, I wish it made the Billy the Puppet laugh. You know, that little jigsaw. <laughs> And I understand the mentality of maybe wanting that, but think it through. You're buying this at a movie theater. You're about to see it. Do you really want some Jacko playing that sound every time as you're watching the movie in silence? Just... I don't think so. But getting back to it, I still love the detail on it, of the versatility of it, of just, just being a collectible that runs on your shelf. There's not much Billy the Puppet merchandise out there, and something like this for a major Saw fan, and for a great Saw movie like Saw X, this is a great memory and accomplishment of that. So, although I understand it's just a head bucket, and a lot of other head buckets have just gone in the fun bucket catalog, horror movies do not get this kind of love, and I want to encourage more love for those horror movies bucket so i'm gonna say it's popping it's popping y'all next up we got a couple of popcorn buckets i didn't pick up just because i wasn't that enthusiastic about the movies associated with them starting off here with the marvels cinemark released a popcorn bucket of a star that's supposed to symbolize the marvels it's not really an object within the movie though it's more on the poster kind of and again although it's not an item within the movie to really remind you of it they do have the silhouettes of the marvel girls all around i think that is cool and bonus it lights up a pretty blue color, the star, and given the powers associated with the girls, I think that's just a fun, nice added touch right there. So again, although I did not pick it up, I still commend the effort put into this, and I think it's good enough to be a fun bucket right there. I'm gonna put it in the fun bucket category. Say what you will. Now, moving on here to the AMC one, buddy. Uh, this is uh, this is kind of an interesting one. So, they came out with a flurkin egg bucket. This thing is gonna run you $40, but maybe that price is understandable once I describe it for you. So, not only do you get the flurkin egg that doubles as the popcorn bucket for you, but inside, they have a mystery box system here where you could be given any one of these flurkins inside and the flurkin isn't just a plastic toy it also doubles as a sippy cup so when you pay for this you're actually getting two things a popcorn bucket and a cup to go along with it but the thing that i do think is weird is the mystery box aspect if i am paying 40 dollars for this product I do not want to be given a cat color I do not like, or a flurkin color, I apologize. Especially if you're trying to gamble me up and say that there's a fully golden one out there, and that's rare. You're trying to encourage me to buy multiple flurkins so I can get the gold one? Also, is it just me? But even just looking at this popcorn bucket, I would not even be able to tell you this is from a Marvel movie or anything like that. The art style chosen, I think, is so odd. It looks more like it's something for, like, an anime. I don't know, maybe I'm being a hater here in there's a parent out there yelling at me going, yeah, well, I bought that for my eight-year-old and they love it. So shut up, Chris. Well, Janelle, your eight-year-old can make a tier list ranking video, okay? This is mine. So although I might be acting like a Grinch, I'm gonna say Chum Bucket. Just th that mystery box aspect for that price feels a little odd to me. Moving on here, we got a unique popcorn bucket for the movie Trolls 3. Still blows my mind how we're chuckling along with these Trolls movies, but hey, someone out there is enjoying them enough to where they put this much effort into a popcorn bucket. What we got here is a 15 inch tall troll doll where you can just open her head and start eating popcorn out of. Now, I guess if you're a troll fan, that's really cool and it's exciting. It's kind of hard for me to just get excited about it. I don't even have anything really to hype it up. And since again, this is just my personal opinion don't get mad at me if you're the giant troll fan out there but i'm gonna troll you and put it as a chum bucket it just uh, doesn't scream anything unique to me it feels more like it should have just been a flat out toy moving on here we got the movie wish both amc and cinemark release popcorn buckets for it in the shape of the star for that movie but starting off here with the cinemark one that'll run you 20 dollars. again reminder how great the cinemark prices are and it's just kind of a translucent one of the star it does come with a lanyard so once you're done with it being popcorn your kid or yourself can take it on a disney trip and fill it up with items and use it as a purse i think that is kind of cool but if you're not into that the amc one also the star but does not 
have a lanyard or purse aspect to it, instead just kind of being something that sits down and lights up. Really pretty light up, I would say. And so really that's just kind of your preference. Is it something you want to sit there and light up casually as a collectible, or is it something more versatile that you want to use around? I like to be different when it comes to similar buckets and don't want to just add them on the same list. So for me personally, I think again, it, it just comes down to price and what you get out of it. I think you get a little bit more out of the Cinemark one for 20 bucks, so I say this one belongs in the fun bucket. Well, the one that just sits there and lights up to be different, I'm going to put in the chum bucket aspect. Although, it is a very pretty light up, but this one does run you at $30. And bringing it to the last big buckets here before I declare one of these buckets as the holy grail, I did pick these two up. We have the Wonka hat from the Wonka origin movie starring Timothy Chalamet. Wonka. I was not expecting Willy Wonka to have unique looking popcorn buckets and I was also not expecting both AMC and Cinemark to release such similar looking ones. But okay, kicking things off here with the Cinemark Wonka bucket, this will run you $25 and the employee told me to fill it up would be the equivalent of getting a small popcorn, so that's what you'd get with it. But I really love the look of this. Just I found the Wonka movie to be whimsical, fun, delightful, just a fun little family comedy but the gold lettering on here or just the Willy Wonka character over time and his hat being very iconic also the color brown resembling chocolate sure it might look kind of dumb when you put it on and then the words start to read mononka but I think it's a cool popcorn bucket and one very easy to clean and fill up to use over and over in your house or heck I saw someone recommend buy the 4k of it stuff it in there and you got a collector's edition set yeah this one's cute and nice I think this deserves to be a fun bucket. But if we move on now here to the AMC one, I um, am a little puzzled. So they went for a much larger approach here. This one will run you $30. Now it does come with a large popcorn and the large popcorn tub actually fits within the hat and also my head. And I got a pretty big head, y'all. There's no real labeling on the outside or visible. There is some engraving on the inside where it reads Wonka. I'm also kind of shocked by the amount of detail they added on here. Since Wonka in this movie is poor, he's got some weathered down clothes. And yeah, there's crack crevices and things like that resembling this hat is worn down. But if I'm being honest with you guys, um, this hat looks a little sad. If you didn't know it was Willy Wonka and you just saw this on my shelf or somewhere out there, you're like, why does the man have a sad hat out there? Is he going to pull a dead rabbit out of it? I mean, just even comparing the color of the two, like this is much more of a chocolate bar color. This is more of a chocolate that's been sitting out for a while color. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it is great to fill up with tons of popcorn and use over and over in your house. And I do understand that is the main purpose. Uh, for a movie that's supposed to represent so much delight, whimsy, happiness, I just feel sad looking at this. So I'm going to be honest with you, this might be it. This will be this year's trash can bucket. I just, between the two, not only is it cheaper, it's just nicer looking. It's got the gold lettering. You can still fit a decent amount of popcorn in there. Much better option than whatever this is, my guy. Like, again... It's just sadness. But now with these buckets marked and put in their place, it is time to choose the Holy Grail contender of the year. And you know what? I thought it would be a really easy choice, but there are two popcorn buckets I have in mind to be the Holy Grail. And I think you might be able to tell from the way I was describing and getting excited about it. Um, I think it is either between the Optimus Prime Transformers Rise of the Beast car just because i love how creative and unique they got with adding in the popcorn being a drink out of the head the wheels still roll on it the metal on the back like that, that that was pretty good and the value was nice for still getting a large popcorn and a drink with it that helps that 50 dollars price tag look a little bit more reasonable and then i have the blue beetle backpack from amc i just that's the popcorn bucket that had me the most excited once i saw it so that's really where i am at right now but now finally making a decision for myself, you're going to disagree with me. You might, but for me, the holy grail of 2023 is the Blue Beetle Backpack Popcorn Bucket. This popcorn bucket just not only excited me when I saw it was coming out, but even when I paid the money for it and it was handed to me in that nice packaging, I opened it up and saw it for the first time, felt like a kid inside. So disagree with me or not, but for 3C... This is the winner 
of 2023's popcorn bucket tier list. We'll see if there's enough cool popcorn buckets released in 2024, and hopefully I don't get broke or go canceled and can still afford to buy a lot of them. But let's make this a yearly tradition, having fun with ourselves. I'd love to know from you guys. I'm gonna link this tier list in the description if you wanna screenshot me where you would have placed things. But I also just wanna know in the comments, what do you think should have been the Holy Grail popcorn bucket? Which was your favorite, your least favorite? All of that, would love to hear it down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, call me Pop Colonel. Take care.